Hi everybody, my name is Ian Lamont. I am the author of Excel Basics in 30 Minutes as well as the Excel Cheat Sheets, unofficial cheat sheets for Excel. And today I'm gonna to show you something interesting relating to uh, calculating the value of a certificate of deposit uh, at a certain interest rate. And I have to be honest with you, usually when I do this, I, I do it kind of a uh, less efficient way. And I open up my calculator and like, let's say that I have a $10,000 CD. What I'll just do is I'll just do simple multiplication like this. So I'll do times, you know, and let's say it's a 2% interest rate, 1.2, and then I'll press this button 10 times, okay? And then it will, it will give me some value. The problem with this method is it's not really calculating interest the way banks uh, calculate interest, and it may give me a very wrong value, not only because it's uh, not calculating monthly interest, but also because, um, you know, I may press I may press the equal button 11 times or nine times if I'm not being careful. So the way that you should do it is actually by using Excel and Excel fortunately has a formula that will make it really easy to do it. I'm gonna show you what it is. And you may be looking at this and saying, what, you call this easy? But actually, once you understand the way it works, it's actually is quite easy. So here is the formula. It's a FV, future value. And you know, it, it can, I'm saying it's for a certificate of deposit, but it can actually be for any type of uh, loan situation where you want to calculate um, the value later on. Um, so the inside the parentheses, these are the arguments. Rate is the interest rate for the period that might be monthly or annually. N per is the number of periods, the number of periods that could be the number of months or the number of years in the certificate. PV is the present value or the principal. Uh, PV note is usually negative to reflect that it's a deposit. So it's kind of like from um, uh, your point of view. And that payment is zero because there's not going to be any extra payments during the life of this particular CD. Uh, but of course, if you did have a situation where you're adding to the debt or adding to the loan, uh, depending on how you see things, you could add money there. Okay, so here is the yield for a... Uh, $10,000 five-year CD at 2% interest compounded monthly. So let's just take that off there so we don't see that distraction. So here is the formula. Future value. What I did is it's a 2% interest rate, but it's compounded monthly. So I'm dividing it by 12. Five times 12, five year times the number of months in a year. There are no additional uh, payments to it. And then it's uh, $10,000. So let's just take that and bring it right into Excel, see how it works. Okay, so here's the method. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take all this stuff out so we just see what we're doing. And I'm gonna paste the formula in. I'm gonna get rid of that extra zero there and press return. And it calculated it right there. Now there's another interesting thing you can do. And let's say instead of uh, $10,000, I wanted to, to try different values. So I wanna do $20,000 here and then $30,000 here and maybe $100,000 here. And um, let's see what happens. Now, one thing I've done here is instead of doing the typing in the value into the, into the, last, into the last argument here, I'm just gonna put the name of the, of the uh, cell, and it looks like it's C3. You can see it highlighted it there. Just going to copy that and paste it right over. But first, I'm going to get rid of the equal sign so we can see what we're doing. Oops. Okay. Finish this up. Okay. And then we're going to just paste that formula. And you can see it generated a. Um, it gener it. Oh, you know what I did wrong? It generated a negative value because I didn't put the negative here. So remember, it's from our point of view. So we're shelling out negative $20,000 at the beginning, but we're gonna be getting $22,000 back, okay? And then you can just drag this down if you want to calculate all those values quickly. And I think probably the reason here, there could be a negative problem. Yeah, let's put a negative here as well, okay. So this is a quick way to calculate the value of a certificate of deposit or any other sort of loan or borrowing a scenario where you wanna calculate uh, the interest on a monthly basis, compounded, compounded monthly. Um, for more information on how to get the most out of Excel, check out my book, Excel Basics in 30 Minutes, as well as the Excel cheat sheets that I've created with examples like this, available from in30minutes.com. My name is Elamont. Thank you so much for watching.